What's going on, everybody? The original Minko back with some Risk of Rain 2 new update content. But before we get into it, be sure you check the links down below as always. Top link will take you directly to the member page where you can join, become a member on YouTube today, get access to weekly exclusive content, and help the channel out a ton. I would really appreciate it, so check that out. And the Twitch link is down there as well, where you can come and hang out with some cool people. We stream five days a week. We have a ton of fun. It's super interactive and super uh, fun over there. So you'd probably enjoy it. So check that out. Also, be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Risk of Rain 2 expansion is coming March 1st. Uh, there's t so many good roguelikes that are out right now and just other games that are fun to play. And we are covering them all here. So check it out. Uh, or make sure you're subbed. Like 80% of you guys are not subscribed. So check that out. But this character reveal was saucy. I'm super excited for the new character. The release date reveal was nice, and this is going to be kind of my first reaction as I watched the the trailer with chat. So uh, enjoy it, and let me know what you guys think of the new character and the new expansion, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces, and I will catch you all in the next video. Oh my god, under a minute. Oh my god, I can hardly contain it. My dick is throbbing. Alright. What is this countdown for? New Apex season? No, this is the Risk of Rain expansion. They're revealing one of their uh, new characters. New character Oh my god, there's a QR code. Oh, it's gone. No. The QR code disappeared, son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't get my camera out in time. Rip. Rip. Oh, all right. Shut up. It's time. Man, it's got to be a sniper. I can already tell based on that first line. It's got to be. Rail gunner, close enough. Oh, there's a scope? FPS scope? Yeah! Let me quick scope. I'm gonna be quick scoping bosses. Holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna hit some trick shots. March 1st! March 1st! One month from today, pretty much. Because uh, February is a short month. <laughs> March 1st. Wow. One month until the Risk of Rain expansion. Hello, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the Survivor Showcase and are all excited to play as the Railgunner when Survivors of the Void launches on mm -hmm. the 1st of March, mm -hmm. just one month away. Yep. For the remainder of the stream, we'll be taking a closer look at the Railgunner and her abilities. Yes, please. The Railgunner is the spiritual successor to the Sniper in Risk of Rain 1. Updated with unique tools... Why is there a pug? ...better suit the fast-paced 3D environment what? of Risk of Rain 2. If you love inflicting huge damage at a distance and love the challenge of hitting precise targets while also having excellent mobility... All crit strike chances converted into crit strike damage? So let's jump in and break down her abilities, starting with her iconic scoped weapon mode, the M99 Sniper. The M99 Sniper is a zoom scope that highlights weak points on enemies and transforms your weapon into a piercing 1000% damage railgun. Hitting a weak point guarantees a critical strike, the trade-off being that none of the railgunner's attacks can randomly crit. Items and equipment that increase crit strike chance instead increase your crit strike damage. That's kind of nuts. Each shot using your M99 sniper scope activates an active reload bar. Hitting a perfect reload not only allows you to refire your weapon faster, but also makes your next attack have a bonus plus 500% base damage. Once you get into the rhythm of scope, aim, shoot, reload, you can then throw out absurd amounts of damage as the railgunner. Next up, her main non-scoped weapon is the XQR Smart Round System. 
This weapon mode fires aggressive tracking rounds for 100% damage. While not the damage powerhouse of her scope modes, the XQR definitely has its uses. Its fast rate of fire allows you to get valuable item procs like ukulele chain lightning or ATG missiles. It also allows you to finish off low health enemies or to soften them up for a sniper shot. The drawback to this weapon is its short range and low base damage. Use it to defend yourself while putting some distance between you and your next sniper target. Yep, love it. Next up is a versatile and very fun concussion devices. This utility skill throws out a device that knocks back you <laughs> and nearby That was enemies. toxic. If you're being swarmed by small fast enemies and need to break them up to make them easier to pick off one by one, throw one of these bad boys in there and watch them fly. It's other uses for your own mobility. A well-timed jump can send you flying, allowing you to gain some valuable distance or gain a height advantage. Look at these new areas, by the way. For a this area looks Beware, gorgeous. Like, Railgunner takes normal fall damage, so if you're going for height, make sure you hit your mark. And finally, the Railgunner's special ability, a piece de resistance, is the supercharge. Pierce de resistance. Overloading oh her God. railgun with a short charge up time turns it into a boss one-shotting beast, firing a huge piercing round for 4,000% damage and 150% weak point damage. Holy shit! With this great power comes a big drawback. Once used, all your railgun weapons are disabled for 5 seconds, leaving you with just your concussion device for defense. You had better make that shot count. <laughs> the supercharge is also a much wider than usual shot making it very useful for taking out large conga lines of enemies. Oh my god! And that concludes our Railgunner deep dive. She does have alternate abilities and an alternate skin for beating the game on Monsoon, same as the other survivors, but I'll let you discover those for yourselves. As always, thanks for your ongoing support and being an amazing community. I'll be back soon for the next Dev Thoughts when we will be very close to the release of Survivors of the Void. Finishing out this video, I'm going to be showcasing a Stage 1 playthrough as the Railgunner without commentary. Mainly as an excuse to showcase some of the amazing music Chris has made for the expansion. Oh, new to give music! You a better idea how an early game railgunner plays. We'll listen to this. We'll okay, watch a little bit of it. Maybe not the whole. Well, it's only stage one. Actually, we can watch this. God damn! That sniper boss shot seems fucking wacky. Oh, it's a new starting area. Oh, new stage one. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, it sounds good too. That's so satisfying. Oh my god. I'm bricked. The supercharge actually seems insane. Yeah, new flying manatees. New area. New soundtrack. Oh, yeah. I'm in. This character looks fantastic. Everything that would give you crit chance is just translated to crit damage. Reduce incoming damage when out of danger. That's interesting. Reduce damage? Huh. New item. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crowbar. Oh, my God. You stack crowbar? Holy shit. Uh, no, bore me. This is... We're watching something for the new Risk of Rain expansion. We're, we're not, I'm not playing. We're just watching this because it's the new expansion comes out soon. Dude, stacking crowbar is so silly. Oh yeah, activate it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see a shrine of the mountain. Let's go.
Did they say if? No, they didn't say Cavelli. All right, just activate it. I want to see the supercharger. Come on, it's what we're all waiting for. Yeah, charge it up. Yeah. Yeah, just a just eviscerated. Just eviscerated. Just adios. See you back in the lobby. Jesus Christ. God. That is nuts. All right. Nice showcase. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Well, no, I'm a person, but yeah, you know, you know what I meant. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll I'll watch the end just in case, just in case there's any special surprise. But it does sound challenging, but I, at least the bullet is piercing. And they said the supercharge thing has a very wide range, so you can hopefully knock out a few things in one shot. And hopefully have some good AoE going or something. We'll just have to play it and find out. As of five minutes ago, Sony just bought Bungie. Wait, did they actually? Oh, God. I thought they were going for EA. Bungie's trending. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. I think that's it. Oh yeah. I, uh, yeah. I don't know. One of the new one of the new items, I suppose. All right. There we go, everybody. There it is. That is the new character. Wow. I'm excited for that. I am excited for that. Yeah.